Take the money and remove the ink. Actually, right here. Gave me an extra $10. What in the world? Three. I know I followed it. This is good magic. You can actually move it. Awesome. Enjoy. Wait, where's my money? What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you the secrets behind 10 classic cons and scams with a little magic sprinkled in. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button and let's go. This first one is a classic con that you may have seen on the street. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, who wants to win $20, win some money? All you gotta do is find the little P under the three shells. Would you like to play? I'd love to. Let's do it. All right, 20 bucks on the line. Do you have 20 to put up? Yes. Perfect. Put your 20 right there. So there's three shells. All you have to do is follow the one little P. It's gonna be underneath the middle shell right there. It's a classic game and you can win $20 if you find the P. If you don't find the P, if you get it wrong, you owe me 20. Deal? Okay. All right, so you can see the P is right here under the middle shell, nothing under these two, right? So follow the one under the middle shell just there, nothing under these two, pay attention. Okay. So we're gonna mix them up, start like this. All right, so got them mixed up. Do you think you know where it is? I know where it's at. You know where it's at? Yes. All right, go ahead and point to it. This one. The middle one right yes. there? Go ahead and flip it over. Where'd you put, what? I was watching it the whole time. How about double or nothing? Put up another 20, we'll make You're it on. a total of 80. So 80 bucks on the line. You can win $40 if you follow the P and you get this right, okay? So we'll start off with it in the middle again, just like that. You can see nothing in these two, right? Right. So just follow the P right there in the middle. If we mix here, and then here, there, there. Okay, think you followed it? Yeah. Where do you think it is? What? Sorry. I know I followed it. Thank you for playing though. Have a wonderful day. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. So here is the secret to the magic shell and pea game. This is a classic scam, a classic hustle. It comes with everything you need. It comes with a little rubber pea and it comes with these three plastic shells. They will last you for thousands of performances. The key with this is to place the shell with the point facing forward. You can see the shell is designed to where there's a front with the point and the back is a little gap right there. That is so when you slide this forward, the pea will secretly pop right out of the back of the shell. No matter where they pick, the shell is gonna appear empty. You're just gonna steal the P out of the shell just like this, and then you can load it using the exact same process. You just reverse that. So you place it behind it and roll it back, and now you've placed it underneath the other shells. So no matter where they pick, you're going to lose every single time and you win money. Now, a lot of the time, the way this hustle works is they'll actually have a plan. Somebody who's in on it, who will be playing with the person on the street, and they'll actually look like they're winning real money, but they're actually in on it. They're not a real, like, random spectator, someone who just walked up on the street. It's somebody who's working with the person. They'll be playing the game, and they'll be winning 20, 40, 100 bucks. Like, it's super easy, and that'll draw people in to believe that they can win the game as well, but it's actually rigged so there's no way you can win. We do have these shell and peas available at evaneratv.com right now. It comes with everything you see here. The kit comes with two of these little rubber peas and full instructions to walk you through how to perform this yourself. Available today at evaneratv.com. Pick one up now and fool your friends and family. Yeah. I like this Question. I have yeah. a trick to show you. Do you have any money on you? Maybe. Do you have a, like a large bill? Maybe a hundred? Mm, hang on. Yes. You do? Let me borrow that for one second. Borrow? Yes. I okay, borrow. just borrow. Thank you. Right, so I'm gonna take your hundred. Okay. Watch. And... <laughs> it's incredible. Good magic. There's only one problem. Well, you had a hundred, now you have a dollar. I did. 
Give it back. Okay, here is the secret to the magic bill change trick. So you're going to need a $100 bill and you're also going to need a $1 bill. You're also going to need some rubber cement. Now the key to this is all in how you're folding these bills. You're gonna need another one to go underneath. You're gonna fold the first one horizontal just like this, hot dog style. You're gonna do the same thing with your $100 bill. So take that, fold it like that. You're gonna position these. You're gonna position these just like this and glue them in place. A little bit of rubber cement on this bill. Don't worry, the great thing about rubber cement is that you can peel these apart, doesn't harm the money in any way, and then you can spend it. Now we're gonna put some rubber cement right here and right here, because this is what's gonna create our flap. And we're gonna apply this one right here. Same thing with the one, it's gonna go right in there. So now here is what we have. We have the one on this side, and then when we fold the flap up, it looks like a hundred. So we can have this folded down like this to start with. You can even show both sides because it's a one dollar bill on the back. And then you can use this to magically change it into a hundred, or what I like to do is to borrow a hundred dollar bill from someone, and then I'll take the hundred from them, I'll switch it for this prepared bill, shown like this, and I'll say watch. Take the hundred dollar bill and change it into a one just like that, and then you can immediately show the other side, and then you can switch this out for a normal one dollar bill, hand it back to them, and then keep their hundred that you switched. And then of course when they go, hey, I want my hundred back, you can then give them their hundred dollar bill back and let them keep the one as a souvenir. So I've got a pile of pennies in my hands right here, it's probably about uh, 30 cents, something like that. Lauren, if you would just hold your hands right underneath like that. Watch, one, two, three. Rich. <laughs> the coins magically multiply. Okay, here's what you're gonna need to pull this off at home. Super easy, you're going to need an empty card box. You're going to need some scissors, and you're also going to need a hot glue gun. And start by cutting the card box in half, just like that. The next thing you're going to need is a pile of penny. If you're in a different country other than the United States, you can use whatever the lowest currency is in your country. Your next step is to take your hot glue and you're going to affix the coins on the front of this card case, right here on the top. So we're just gonna put a dab of hot glue right there, and just stick the coins in place just like that. You just wanna make sure the entire surface of the box is covered. You don't want any of that poking through. You're just gonna continue gluing the coins on until you've got that completely covered up. And you kinda of want it to just look random like it's just a pile of coins. We don't want it to look uniform. So once you have it finished, it should look something like this. A bunch of coins kinda of looks like a pile of coins if you hold it in your hand like this. But underneath, you have a little compartment that you can take all your silver coinage like this and just load it inside. So now this is our setup for the trick. We've got a bunch of silver coins hidden in here, and we've got our pennies here on top. So now all you have to do to make it seem like these coins multiply is have your spectators hold their hands underneath and just dump the coins in. Hey, can you give me change for a 20? Yeah. Uh, like a 10 and 10 ones would be perfect. Awesome, thank you. It's right. Um, I actually think I might, I might have too many ones now. Do you think uh, you could give me like two fives for these ones? Yeah. You need ones for your drawer? Here, just count that, make sure it's right. You only give me nine. Oh, uh, there's the other dollar in here. If I just give you this 10, can you give me a 20? Yeah. Perfect. All right, thanks. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Okay, Lauren, did that seem legit to you? Did that seem like everything was on the up and up? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You didn't notice anything like fishy about that? No. Okay, you actually gave me an extra $10. No, I didn't. What? How? So I'm gonna explain, I'll walk you through this. Let's restart. Uh, okay. I'll give you these two fives back and uh, I'll keep this 20. Okay, so I started with this 20, right? I came up to you, I said, can you give me change for the 20, right? So you take the 20 and you gave me a 10 and 10 ones, right? That's totally legit. That part of it is, uh, there's nothing fishy or tricky about that whatsoever. Now the scam comes in once you hand this back to me. Now I have the $20 right here, but what I hand you back is actually nine of those $1 bills. So I hand this back to you and I say, actually, I think I have too many ones. Do you think maybe you could give me like two fives or a 10 back for this? And I hand these nine ones back to you, right? Right. You go ahead and hand me the fives or the 10, thinking it's all on the up and up. You go ahead and count these, realizing that I've shorted you $1. Now what's happening here is I'm starting another transaction with you before this transaction has closed. So you ask me for the other dollar to make that whole, I give it to you, and then at the same time, I take the two fives that you've given me or the 10, and I go here, if I just give you the 10, can you give me a 20 instead? So you give me the 20, not realizing that the 10 I just gave you came from your drawer. So you're now giving me an extra 
extra 10 in addition to the 20 that I already had. And that is how the change raise works. Scammed. Okay guys, I have a challenge for you. See if you can follow it. We have two red aces and one black ace. All you have to do is follow the black ace. Our first one, the black ace, is gonna go down on the table right here. This is the one that you should follow. It's gonna go right there. The next one, the red ace, is gonna go right here. And our other red ace is gonna go right here. So follow the black ace. Ready? Where do you think the black ace is? If you guessed here, you'd be wrong. It's actually right here. Let me show you the secret of this classic street hustle right now. Three card money. We have bicycle cards available in three different colors, red, blue, and black at evanairtv.com. If you don't have any cards, you can pick some up today and we ship all around the world. So all you need are three playing cards for this. And it's really all about sleight of hand. This plays best when done with like two cards, like two red aces, and then one card that's an odd man out. We'll use a black ace in this instance. So this is very simple. It basically comes down to a double lift, meaning when you put this card down, it's actually the top card of the deck it's the ace of hearts you're holding that card on the back of the ace of clubs so you're showing them like it's one card it's actually two held as one so you flip this over and you set down what they think is the ace of clubs this is the card they're trying to track they're actually tracking the wrong card the entire time they're tracking one of the red so we still have the black card over here we can then just take these and set these down or we can do a double lift like this show the red card here kick off the black card there and then show the red again as we set this down so you can do that very quick they normally don't know at speed, it's gonna look like this. So follow the black card right here. Follow the black one, that's all you have to do. Follow the black card. The red is here, the other red is here. Got it? So follow the black. So they're thinking the black card is right here. It's actually not, that's a red card. We know the black card's here, and the other red card is there. That is the secret to three card money. Pick up some playing cards from EvanAraTV.com and try that at home. Okay, Lauren, do you have a dollar I can borrow? I have a trick to show you with it. Yes. Okay, perfect. Take a dollar bill just like this. I'm gonna stuff it down inside my hand, just like this. You can see, it goes down inside, just like that. Now watch, if I reach in my pocket, I actually have a fan right here, okay? Watch, if I take your bill and I just squeeze it like this, and I take the fan, you can actually see. What in the world? The bill turns into confetti, it's like a money storm. That's crazy. Magic. That's awesome. Enjoy. Wait, where's my money? You might have guessed it, the secret to this magic scam is a thumb tip. This is a magician's best friend. So many effects are possible with this. In this case, you can use it for a fun gag. You're gonna conceal it in your hand. You're gonna stuff the bill down in your hand like this. It's actually secretly going inside the thumb tip. You then just tuck your thumb inside. You're going to pull this out of your fist and ditch it right into your pocket. Along with the thumb tip, you're also going to conceal in the same hand one of these. This is called a money storm packet. It's just a little packet of green confetti. Pop this open like this and see we have all these awesome little pieces of green confetti that when we fan them with a fan, we'll create this awesome illusion of the bill just disintegrating and turning into confetti. And it creates like a money snowstorm. It's so cool, such a good visual, and it almost makes them forget that you just pocketed their dollar. Stay tuned for the end of the video. I'm gonna give away some of these little money snowstorm packets so you can perform this at home. So what I have here is really cool. This is actually decommissioned money from the US Mint. This is what happens to money when they take it out of circulation. And Instead of shredding it, they take black ink and they ink out both sides so that it can't be spent anymore. But I actually discovered a secret. If you soak this in a certain solution overnight and then you take this roller, you can actually remove the ink from the bill and make it spendable again. Check this out, look. If you just roll over it with this roller, it removes the ink, you can now spend the $100 bill. This is a simple con called the black money scam, and here's what the scammer will do. So the first thing you're going to do is take a piece of white computer paper, and you're gonna cut it out to the exact size as a dollar bill. Your next step is to take the paper and paint it on both sides. So what they'll do is they'll take the piece of black paper and they'll convince people that this is actually money that has been inked. It's been taken out of circulation, so they take black ink and they ink it on both sides so it can't be used. 
used. And then they'll maybe spray it with a solution or something. And then they'll take a money roller like this and they'll take the piece of black paper and they'll tell the audience that they can buy one of these money rollers and they'll give them a bunch of this black money that they can then take home and do this. They take the black money and roll it and it actually removes the ink from it like this. So they then have spendable cash. Now it's a complete illusion. It's totally fake. This is actually a magic prop. So the secret is you roll this thing out like this. You tuck the bill inside like this and roll it up and it hides it. Now you show the piece of inked money, take the money and remove the ink. Stay tuned for the end of the video if you want to win a magic money roller. You can also do this with the classic money printer from EvanEraTV.com. Take your black money, slide it in here, and as it goes through the money roller, it will actually remove the ink from the bill just like that, giving you clean, spendable cash. Okay, this is an amazing trick called Fraud by Daniel Garcia. It's with a $5 bill. So you show the $5 bill and you call attention to the little seal right here, little federal seal. I'm gonna grab the seal like this, and if you just rub, you can actually move it down the bill, and it'll stick in place wherever you want, just like that. All right guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button, then share it with someone you think might like it as well. Liking the video really helps the YouTube algorithm, helps more people see the video, helps the channel gain more subscribers. So if you take the time to hit that thumbs up button and share the video on your Facebook or your Twitter, your YouTube, I really appreciate it. Be sure to head over to EvanEraTV.com. That is our online shop. There's a link in the description of this video. We have a ton of really cool magic tricks and laugh at life gear. A lot of the stuff you saw in this video, like the money printer and the magic thumb tip, those are available on EvanEraTV.com and a lot of different decks of cards and really cool card tricks that you can't find anywhere else. Again, the link for that is in the description of this video or at EvanEraTV.com. And it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic props from this video. If you want to win any of the magic that you saw in this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Be subscribed to EvanEraTV. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a random comment in the comment section like two random words together. Two random words like ladder slappy. Leave them in the comments down below, something funny that we can all laugh at. I'll be going through the comments section, reading all your comments and picking random ones and mailing out the magic to you at home. Time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to our winners. Be sure to send an email with your full mailing address to this email address on the screen to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit the thumbs up on the video and leave your comments down below. Until next time, remember that Anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.